most kids have nightmares about clowns or monsters or school. Can't let them get me. But I have nightmares about peanuts. No, no, stay away from me. Don't touch me. No bad peanuts, bad, no, no. No! That's the fifth peanut nightmare this week. Ever since I accidentally ate something with peanuts in it at my friend's house and had to go to the hospital, it's all I can think about. I've been so careful my whole life to avoid peanuts because of my food allergy, but now I feel like they're everywhere. I'm so scared of having another reaction. I've been eating lunch alone at school. I've been avoiding hanging out with my friends or even leaving the house for weeks now. Tomorrow is Felicity's birthday. I really want to go. She's my best friend. But what if there are peanuts and it happens again? Mom and Dad say not to worry, to just be smart and be careful. But how can I be smart and careful about something I barely... Deep in outer space at the headquarters of the Medikids. Understand. Whoa, the Medikids. What's going on? As Leonardo da Vinci said, the noblest pleasure is the joy of understanding. We wish to give you that joy. Yeah, and as another great man once said, Hi Lillian, we're going to help you understand everything about food allergies. So don't worry. P.S. I gastro in that great man. Let us begin with the basics. Having a food allergy means that your body reacts negatively to a certain food or foods. Yeah, there's a kid in my school who can't have lobster or his face turns red and swells up. Like, well, a lobster. Food allergies are very common. Around one child in every 13 has a food allergy. We know it can be difficult to manage having a food allergy, but knowing why it happens can make it easier. And to understand why, we shall travel to the bloodstream of Mediland. Mediland, of course! I've been meaning to go there. Psst, Abacus, what's Mediland? The celestial body designated Mediland is a planet that looks and works just like the human body. In the bloodstream. Lillian, welcome to the bloodstream. Whoa, it's way busier than I thought it would be. Now, to understand food allergies, you need to understand. You there! Stop! The immune system. The immune system is made up of different cells, proteins, and organs that all work together. It's the body's guardian against germs that can cause infections and make you super sick. I said stop! That's negative thinking. I'm going to stay positive and believe I will get away. Yeah, those guys are awesome. They are B cells, which are a type of white blood cell that hunts down germs. I'm positive that you're going down. They got him. Wait, what's that symbol on the germ's stomach? And what's the B cell doing? Oh, that symbol is called an antigen. All germs have them on their surface. B cells know when they see that symbol that they're dealing with a germ. The B cell is creating an antibody that attaches to the germ's antigen, sending a signal call for backup. Why would they need backup? They've got everything. Under control? Uh-oh. <laughs> you thought you two could stop me? You'd need an army. A whole, hey, wait, why is that glowing? My personality is glowing but never my stomach. And what's up with these glowing rings? That glow is the antibody and the glowing rings are the signal. There are different types of signals, but one is called a histamine. Um, is it just me or did this tunnel get way bigger? It's not just you. Histamine makes blood vessels wider, allowing more white blood cells to come through and take care of any germs once and for all. Nice, get him, boys. I brought this on myself. Okay, that was 100% awesome! But what does any of this have to do with food allergies? Everything! See, sometimes the immune system gets confused and attacks things that aren't harmful. This is called an allergy. And when that something is a food, it's called a food allergy. Speaking of, let's talk about how the food travels through the body. Okay, so after we've chewed and swallowed our food, it travels down the esophagus, or food pipe, and into the stomach where it's mashed up into small pieces. The useful parts of food travel into the bloodstream to be used by the cells. 
and the rest goes through the intestines to be made into poop. This is all fine, unless you have a food allergy and that food gets into the blood. No! Don't touch it! Oh, hello. What do we have here? Oh, aren't you just so tiny and cute and completely harmless? Ah, it's evil incarnate! The ultimate germ! Backup! I need backup! Send everybody! What's happening? If you have a food allergy, the B cells get confused and think that the antigens on food are the same as the germ antigens. An antigen that you're allergic to is called an allergen. The B cells fire antibodies at the food and call for backup. And then histamine and other signals make the blood vessels wider and more white blood cells rush in. This is called an allergic reaction. You have an allergic reaction every time you eat anything with peanuts. Well, an allergic reaction seems a lot like a war in my body. So those signals we talked about, like histamine, they cause the symptoms of an allergic reaction. Symptoms? Like what? Symptoms of a mild allergic reaction include tingly lips and tongue, feeling sick, stomach pain, runny nose and watering eyes, and an itchy rash on your skin called hives. In a severe allergic reaction called anaphylaxis, the symptoms can make you feel very sick. Histamine lets the fluids leak out of your blood vessels, which can make you feel dizzy and might even make you pass out. It also causes the muscles in your airway to tighten, making it difficult to breathe. Speaking of things getting tight, I think it's time we get out of here. I'm with you. Initiate teleporter. Initiating teleporter now. Phew, that was not fun. I can't believe that's what happens in my body. It's pretty intense, all right? That's why if you think you have a food allergy, it's important to visit your doctor. Your doctor will ask lots of questions about you and the symptoms you've been having. And if your doctor thinks you might have a food allergy, they'll do some tests to make sure. It's been a long time, but I think I remember the doctor testing my blood. That's right. A blood test can check if your immune system cells are making antibodies against different foods. Another test, called a skin prick test, is when a tiny amount of different foods is placed on the surface of your skin, either on your back or arm. If the food makes your skin red and itchy, it means you are probably allergic to it. The third type of test and the best way to see if you have an allergy is called an oral food challenge. Doctors have you eat small amounts of food to see if it causes any symptoms. An oral food challenge can only be done in a hospital or a special doctor's office so that you can get treatment right away if you do have a severe allergic reaction. Okay, so I get what food allergies are. Now, what can I do about them? Unfortunately, there is currently no cure for food allergies, but there are lots of things you can do to help manage them. The best way to avoid allergic reactions is to avoid eating the food that you're allergic to. In your case, peanuts. Oh, I already avoid peanuts like the plague. For me, they basically are the plague. But it's hard. It seems like peanuts are in everything. You're right, peanuts are used in lots of foods you might not even think about. Like cookies, crackers, cakes, stir fries, and even salads. And here are some good tips to follow to avoid them. Number one, know what is safe for you to eat. You and your family can learn some new recipes and how to prepare your favorite meals without using the food that you're allergic to. Number two, if you're eating food from a packet, always check the label for allergens. Number three, if you're eating out, ask if there are any allergens in your meal. Number four, if someone else is making your food, they need to make sure they wash their hands after touching other foods and also wash any surfaces the food might touch. Those are great tips and I'm always super careful. But what happens if I eat some peanuts by accident? Last time I went from my friend's slumber party to the hospital. Accidents are bound to happen, and an allergic reaction can be super scary. That is why it's important to know exactly what to do, so you can recover from it quickly. That is why you need an emergency plan. The plan is something your doctor will help you come up with, so you know exactly what to do. You should carry a copy on you at all times, and give a copy to your teachers and any other adults that are taking care of you, so they're ready to help if you need it. Now, if you do have an allergic reaction, there are medicines you can take. Antihistamines are medicines that treat mild allergic reactions. Antihistamines come in tablets and liquids. They work by stopping histamine. 
I thought I heard the alarm, but now I don't hear anything. Me neither. Oh well, let's go back to patrolling the bloodstream and having a little banter. Severe allergic reactions, or anaphylaxis, need a stronger medicine, called epinephrine. Epinephrine works by quickly stopping the fluid from leaking out of your blood vessels. It also relaxes the muscles in your airways, so you can breathe easily. Anaphylaxis is an emergency, and you should take your epinephrine right away. Epinephrine comes in an auto-injector, which you use to inject the medicine into your thigh. Your doctor will show you, and the adults who look after you, exactly how to use it. If you're having a severe allergic reaction, you should lie down and stay lying down until you feel better. If you feel like you might be sick, lie on your back. Yeah, and if you still have symptoms after using epinephrine, you should follow your plan. You might need to take another dose of epinephrine or go to the emergency room for more treatment. Note, you should keep it. Remember to keep your epinephrine auto-injector with you at all times so that it's ready when you need it. Okay, guys. Big question time. Why did I get food allergies in the first place? Ooh, good question. Uh, but I don't have a good answer. See, no one really knows why some people have food allergies and some don't. Having asthma or eczema also increases your chance of having a food allergy. But please know it's not because of anything you or anyone else did or didn't do. What's cool is that doctors and scientists are working hard to find new ways to treat food allergies all the time. That is cool, but it doesn't change the fact that having a food allergy is really tough. I have to do things and worry about things that my friends don't. It just makes me feel so alone. We get it, we really do. But you are totally not alone. Not only are food allergies super common, but you've got your friends, family, doctor, and nurses that all have your back. And if you're ever feeling overwhelmed, worried, or upset, you can talk to them about it. You can even ask your doctor about local support groups where you can meet other kids just like you. Having a food allergy can be really tough sometimes. Remember, you are not alone. Your friends, family, doctor, and nurses are all there to support you. If you're feeling worried or upset, talking to someone you trust can really help. It might be a friend, parent, brother, sister, teacher, or health professional. Remember, you're in charge, not your food allergy. Don't let it keep you from doing the things you love. Gastro is right. Most people with food allergies can do everything that anyone else can do, like going to school, playing sports, and going to parties. You just need to be a bit more careful when it comes to choosing the foods that you eat. Thanks, many kids. I feel a lot better now. I'm going to be smart. I'm going to be careful. But I'm done being scared. I like the sound of that. Good luck, Lillian. Farewell, human designated as Lillian. I'm back. You know what? I'm in charge of my life, not my food allergies. Now, let's pick out a cute outfit for this party. The next day. Lillian, so glad you could come. Thanks for having me. Also, I want to give you this. I have a peanut allergy, and if anything happens, this is what you should do. Great, thank you, Lillian. And just so you know, nothing here has peanuts, so just go have fun. Chi? Yes, Castro? Would it be wrong if we teleported down there for some cake? If that's wrong, I don't want to be right. Racy to the teleporter.